This is a Never Alone Together podcast with Ian Henry and Gary Everett, bringing special guests on each week to share their stories of mental health struggles and to give hope to many who are going through dark times. Uh, mate, can you tell us about any life struggles you have been through and how have you coped with them through life? Uh, obviously, mine's like work related. I still can't obviously go into too much detail because I've, I've still got some stuff going on there. But yeah, that's really how mine sort of started. Been there a long time, maybe 18 years. Never took a day sick in my life. And then yeah, kind of few things happened in work. So yeah, I went off work for like four or five months. Yeah, really deteriorated. Uh, obviously, lockdown didn't help. I really struggled. Well, f- like sort of first couple of months. But my confidence really was sort of shot. Started to suffer, like was waking up, you know, like not sleeping well, waking up in the morning with like, like an awful feeling in your stomach, anxiety. Yeah, things uh, negative. Like. Yeah, yeah. Like for me, an issue has always been like I bottle things up. Yeah. Whereas my like my sister, for example, she'd be always quite open. Yeah. But with me, I've always kept things. And even like I couldn't talk to my partner at all. I just keep bottling things up. Obviously, she knew there was things going on. But even when I was off work, I just go out like walking a lot and stuff. And that for me was kind of my drug. It's like if I didn't have exercise and stuff, I probably through lockdown, I would have gone insane. But yeah, people tell you all the, when people go into depression and stuff like that, then you just kind of think it's, you know, nonsense. You snap out of it. Yeah. But yeah, I just noticed it. And to be honest, yeah, I was crept like, up on it, it? Yeah. yeah, it crept up on me. And it's just thinking about stuff as well. It's like thinking, oh, well, obviously I got to go back to work. What's going to happen? Blah, blah, blah. Obviously, you, you know, people say, oh, it's only a job and stuff, but you still need a job. Yeah. You'd like to do something it's perfect, but it's not that simple. Yeah. So, yeah, I, obviously I've been back in work now and, and yeah, I'm, you know, I'm getting there, but I'm, I'm, I'm up and down constantly. You would have a couple of good days. I look at it now daily. Yeah, any more positive than negative now throughout the day? Yeah, but I think what I've learned when I've spoken to, like, you know, people say, oh, maybe she's a counsellor and stuff like that. Yeah. And I did like started seeing on and up but sometimes yeah talking to a stranger is helpful for everyone as well. but it, it sometimes as well you're gonna have in a week you're gonna have bad days good days all the time yeah, so yeah. like you can't talk about it all the time sometimes yeah, yeah. you don't, don't want to talk about it and you kind of go into a shell go from say oh you're right but i'm like i'm not really all right but then yes, yeah but then guilty, like. well it's not so much that it's like i can't explain how i feel it's like you got this feeling but you can't exactly explain what it is but yeah i think the way i sum it up i think the worst weapon you can have is your mind yeah because people can yeah overthinking yeah. yeah everything else in your life is like good i can't say i'm surrounded with good friends family and stuff but there's this little thing that's just been ticking and it's been like on and off for like two years but yeah. Yeah. like i said yeah i get anxiety yeah that's you no know, little things like you get an email for work and you think what's this now what's yeah. this or something so like this more yeah yeah and it's like people constant you get anxious you get worked up and then yeah i, I find then as well my moods I noticed that I can be like really low or high yeah. and it's, it's not short fuse. I would just say you get irritable. I get yeah, irritable yeah. Yeah. and yeah. yeah. And it's like, is that through worry or not? Is it? Yeah, possibly. I never wanted to, but like two years ago, I sort of started on antidepressants, but I don't know if it's a placebo effect, whether they've helped or not. But I also think this, the negative effects is possibly like this, where you your moods and stuff, yes. but that could be a mixture of everything. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, it, it could be like that whether they took them or not. Yeah. yeah. Like, so. so whether they've helped or not, I think possibly they have, but I don't know. Going back to when you said about talk to counsellor and stuff yeah. like that, do you think that these days now there's not enough understanding about mental health? I, I'll be honest with you. I'll go the opposite way, and I think there is quite a lot out there. But I think when you read stuff online. Like for even local area and stuff, I think the sad thing is there's so many young people, well, I'd say not young people, but maybe between even 20 and 40, 50 yeah. people committing suicides. Yeah. And, it's and I think it's in, yeah, I agree. Years. And I think there's lots of stuff out there. If you go back to 20 years, there was nothing, oh, yeah. if you think about it. And yeah. it wasn't for men, especially. It was yeah, like, yeah. You know, you know, you know, ourselves, our generation, it was like kind of a just man up or, yeah, yeah. And let's be honest. It, if a man was like feeling down, you, your mates would be like, come on, what's wrong? You know what I mean? I think now there's a lot more out there, but the problem is, I think like yeah. women are good at yeah. talking and stuff, where the men yeah, are not. So it doesn't matter how much stuff is out there. It's in- go find it and Yeah, it it's encouraging people yeah. to do it. But yeah, possibly this should be an easier access. Yeah. 
It's funny you say this because when I worked to do your scorn yeah. when I first met you, I thought that ego is like the guy who likes going out and he yeah. was happy and you don't see that side of somebody. But yeah, of course. Yeah, but well, that's what I mean. I always have been. Obviously, I went through lots of stuff in my life. But I think I dealt with that. I was quite fine yeah. about it and stuff. But I think different things happen. Now, whether it's with me, it was years and years of build up yeah. and then this phase things, and then ev- like everything that. came together. And yeah, what do you see in the front? It's not what, it's not what and people mean. show a front. Do you know what I mean? Like you said, you, you know, you see people happy, and next thing you find, they kill them. It's, yeah, yeah. you know, I know it sounds crazy, but Gary Speed, yeah, yeah. like it's insane. It probably if someone said to you, "Who's the last person you would yeah. think?" You know, he was probably the most loveliest and guy at the time. You know, Manchester Wales. Yeah, and it's insane. And how far he gone with them? Yeah, and to this day, we still yeah. don't know anything what, what really. Happened? Yeah, it could be anyone, can it? it yeah. yeah, and I think the more stuff is out there, like the stuff you're doing now, is great. If you can save four or five people, yeah. uh, I think is the thing is even if one person is listening, it could exactly. Think, oh, I can relate to that. Oh, I'm going to message. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Yeah, and I, one person and, and I think initially when you go start going through all these feelings and stuff going on and in your head and stuff, I think people think oh, I'm going loopy. Is yeah, there something wrong yeah, with me? But yeah. it's not. It's, it's <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's everyone's going through. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, everyone is. And I can guarantee you, there's probably 60, 70 percent of men that yeah. are probably going through it. Yeah, I was talking about the time, especially now after the pandemic. Of course, a lot, a lot of the anxious stuff is through that. But the bills going up now, and everything that's going everything, on. Everything, everything. War in Ukraine, people are trying to help people of course, man. come over from there, aren't they? Yeah. You know, it's all that, and people are feeling it. Like you know, it's at the moment. It's something all right. Is it? No, and the, the, and I, I think it'll be a lot more. Yeah. Like you said, financial pressures, everything. You know young people having kids younger yeah, yeah. it's everything it's it's yeah. like a chain isn't it you don't know what's going on with people's yeah, lives yeah. and how they know, feel yeah. and that's what it's always a smile are you okay and every, just yeah and you don't know how it, like other anything. people's partners are not understand yeah, it, you know yeah, what I mean yeah, yeah. It, you don't know it's and like us now yeah. it's like we, we're like known each other yeah. all these years yeah I grew up with Gary. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. Eagle, well, we know each other, yeah, what, 20 odd years, and we? Yeah, yeah. And we played football, and yeah. that's what we I mean. Don't, we don't even know this. No, before, exactly. Which is like, yeah, yeah. you're opening up now. Of, well, like, yeah, but, we just but yeah, but me, like you, know? you say about me, but you you're probably the life and soul, weren't yeah, you? Was like, life. always happy. Yes, yeah. you, you were well, always. I was very much like you, where like, I bottle things up a lot. Yeah, which is the worst thing you can. But then you can change who you are. I suppose as you get older, you have to. Because otherwise you're going to be ill, or yeah. and you have to and talk about things more and stuff like that. But then it's hard to also change your personality, your character. Yeah, and I think as you're getting older as well, more things are happening to you. As yeah, of course. Older. There's more build then when something else goes wrong. Something else goes wrong. Yeah, of course. I guess to that point then we do like, where do you turn? Yeah, yeah. And you just don't know where to turn. No, I agree. And I think that from my experience, doing this is a, one of the best things you can do is just talking and. Yeah. Well, yeah. They, that's what I mean. There's like I used to talk sport a lot, and they do a thing on a Monday night yeah. somewhere. I think it's all across the UK. You know, like someone did like locally a group of boys just meet like twenty of you, just have a chat. chat. Yeah, yeah, people, chat and a laugh. yeah, but it's like you know they have the AA meetings and stuff yeah, like that. It'd be yeah. similar sort of thing. People yeah, just yeah. get their problems out. I think it would help a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. You know, no one judges anyone. Yeah. It's just yeah, it's a, a chat. Table, yeah. yeah, and I can imagine there's so many people. Yeah, and and you see it. You see it on social media. There is hundreds of thousands of people in the same boat. I think look back on your father and the, the swans. Yeah, he most probably would tell you himself that working together as a team. Yeah, of course, would make everybody stronger. Isn't it? Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Can you tell us a bit more about your dad and his football career? Well, he's so? obviously he was never as good as me. <laughs> so <laughs> always lived in my <laughs> shadows. <laughs> um, <laughs> it don't help when I'm mostly playing local league football and uh, everyone compares me to my dad and saying how crap I am. <laughs> <laughs> obviously proud and people still remember him and uh yeah. well like when i first met you and i was yeah the first thing as soon as you started typing in your name on the computer yeah well i'd be buggered if i ever get on crying watch for night <laughs> yeah. with my surname yeah. Yeah. yeah so i was more impressed with you i thought it was like celebrity singer coming in <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> well, i don't know about that. <laughs> but like when we would open like this i think you start to learn things that you don't even know about people like, no of course mate and it, of course yeah. and like I said there's probably hundreds of people out there it's like I said if you get 20 30 if, if this builds up more it's only going to help yeah you know and it, loads of people going through it yeah yeah young stuff like you said the pandemic and everything else you can think how many people lost jobs it's not good and like you said you see what's happening now with the economy everything yeah. 
But then I think sometimes you've got to think positive things as well. And like I was told, you've got to write things down and stuff. Yeah. And I was writing things down and it was like... I've done that before as well. And I said to you, when yeah. I, I dug up thinking, oh, even if it's just, oh, I've got to do the shop then. Yeah. i got this to get. And just those little things and taking them off. So yeah. like you're doing those things. Oh, I've done that this week now. No, I think it's just like writing things down. For example, like how you feel. Yeah. So some days... You just want to write things down. And then maybe a couple of days later, you remember how you felt those yeah. days. Like yeah, I said, I'm still memory. up and down myself. If I had a solution, yeah, you know right. what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And then you've got the gym. Do you have to cope? Is it yeah, for me, that's a drag. I switch off. Uh, walking, football. Yeah. I, I'll be honest with you. With me, once my work stuff sorted out, I think that was a major part of my yes, uh, exactly. what's happened, stress, depression, yeah. and stuff like that. I think that started it for me. And I kind of just descended yeah. it became whether it was maybe 60 percent of that yeah. obviously pandemic lockdown yeah. lots of other yeah, things everything yeah. yeah it just took top over top, man, yeah man. but so that's just, that's what i find yeah but then i know also like people uh, if they suffer depression and stuff like they can't get motivation and it's hard to then motivate themselves yes, yeah. whereas for me i'll walk over to the gym Put my headphones on for an hour, hour and a half. I switch off. Yeah, yeah. Being around people, gone, sweat it out. Does that with the music apps? Yeah, you know, yeah. Like, yeah, well, yeah. Looking back through your life, what advice would you give to your younger self? I wouldn't have never gone to uni. Yeah. I would, no. If I had any advice to anyone now, I would have never, after doing my A-levels, I would have either done a trade, like become a, maybe trained as a plumber, uh, something. But... I think uni was a good thing. I think it's more about growing up. For me, it was anyway, because I went up to Leeds. Do you know what I mean? For me, it was like it's part of growing up, moving up to your house, having to fend for yourself and stuff like that. But looking back at that side of things, yeah, I probably would have, wouldn't have bothered, waste, like not wasting, because obviously I got a degree yeah. out of it, or maybe doing something, maybe like doing a degree in teaching. Yeah. yeah. But in hindsight, looking back, it's hard. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But what I would say is, Looking back, when people say to you, your school days, your college days, the best days of your life, yeah. they are. Yeah. There was no social media like we talked yeah, earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Well, outside like playing football, or off the street. Yeah. I don't know, many friends who were just stuck in there looking at a screen. Just. I think so. Yeah, I agree with you. I think yeah. social media is, as much as like it's broad good things, it's also it's evil now. It's, look at it, it's just the whole generation. Yeah, yeah. People and just that, abusing each other, yeah, Twitter and, and all this. A, and he, I'm yeah. gonna go with each other. Yeah. Like you mentioned people. about the footballers, isn't it? Like, yeah, exactly. And like, people say about money and stuff, but that doesn't come into it. Yeah. You know, like for example, people them. like Rashford and stuff. You could be two, three hundred grand. You're still gonna take things personally. But if I was any famous person, I wouldn't be on social yeah, media. Even the young footballers who say they come on, on it, but they yeah, of course. They sleep yeah. properly, and the youngsters are more likely yeah, to look at. Yeah, of course. You, media, but you're reading right? all this yeah. stuff. But you know, uh, what was the girl's name uh, from Love Island, the presenter? That's insane. But again, that was all like the media as well, pushing for that hope. And they tried to ruin it. And then when yeah. she killed herself, it's like too late then. Oh, yeah, they're trying to control uh, the situation. Of course. Tonight, and it's, so. when people say money, but it's not, if you're not happy in your mind, you can have billions in the bank. It's, yeah, it doesn't matter. matter. It doesn't mean nothing. And life goes like that. Yeah. And that's the thing. I said to my dad, yeah, he lost a lot of money when obviously the war in Yugoslavia started. Yeah. But like, just enjoy your life. You don't know what's around the corner. Yeah. You're done. And then, well, you've got to balance things out sometimes. Obviously, the stuff we've all gone through and stuff. Yeah. But then you also got to think, you know, we got this, we got that. We've got our health, we got this. But that obviously doesn't help you. Yeah. When you're when in the headspace, yeah. people can tell you whatever they want. You can't yeah. see the light. No, you can't. Well, it's not that. You can't change how you feel. Yeah. If you feel in that way, people can say it to you. I know when people say, I say, we're so often you, but if you feel in. Yeah, of course it is. It's the worst thing. Yeah. Like, yeah. And yeah. that's not going to stop yours. You feel like that because, you know, they were worse off than you. So. Yeah, when you get that feeling, when you're just down, you know, yeah, you feel yeah. depressed, you yeah. anxiety. The thing I learned through that was yeah. to not try and fight and just take each day at a time, mm. which is, you know, I still find the small steps. Like, you know, I agree. Instead of trying to run. Yeah. Yeah. As, as you said, if he was trying to think of something in a few weeks, I don't know, I've got to do this. I'm the same now. I, I go week by week or rather, day by day. Yeah, rather just take it as long. You can't because now, like. you don't know how you're going to feel in five days. Yeah. You yeah, don't exactly. You know what I mean? It, it is but tough. Way, do you still find it hard to, some days to get up and motivate yourself to do things? Or? No, I get up like for work and stuff. I'm an early riser anyway. Like some days I don't feel great. How do you deal with that then? Sometimes you just try to get through it. Like I said, there's been other stuff going back months. Some days I just get up and I just feel like crying. Yeah. I can't explain why. Yeah. Nothing really major happened. Yeah. I just feel like I need a good cry. I don't know why. 
Like, I know it's sound crazy and stuff, because obviously I'm always been like quite temperamental. But I even tried meditation, right? That lasted about three or four days. Well, I'm calm enough for that. Like. Well, no, I was all right for that 20 minute period. Yeah. And I always was like, oh, come on. Like, it's not going to work for me. But honestly, for that 20, 25 minutes, you go into this world and it's great. I wish I could do it all the time. But then once you get out of that world, it's back to normal world. Yeah. Yeah. So I think I need to be in constant meditation constant. to be <laughs> totally chilled. Yeah. But yeah, there's stuff out there. Yoga people have said. But like, how are you feeling? Up and down, like very similar to what you are. Yeah. You know, and um, yeah, we were speaking to Richard. He was saying, it's day to day. Yeah. And that's the way I take it now, is day to day. Don't look any more further ahead and try and, you know, do too much yeah. along. Yeah. Trying to look at positive things, there are things you want to do, think, things to look forward to, like, oh, yeah. I'm going to do that, like, yeah. pursue, I always got something. But I think to. for you, is your outlet's music. Yeah, I was saying earlier, like, uh, since I haven't been doing the band, I didn't have an outlet to express. Yeah. My feelings and but that's you know. good. You probably that's probably help you if you start writing again and yeah, it's, it's more isn't it? You know yeah, I mean? that's the thing. But then it's there, and I think once you start just writing things down, I think that will help you as well. Yeah, to open up more. Yeah, yeah. If you are writing things down, just about your feelings, how you feel, you can write loads of stuff. It's learning how to deal with the pressure. Well, feelings. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think that's something I've learned a lot of. Like I got into faith and stuff like that. Yeah, and I've opened up more to yeah. people I just feel that now I realise I can slowly grow you know? yeah yeah become stronger hopefully anyway become a real you know you've got your friends you've got to remember who I am well. yeah. I think sometimes you forget what you're doing what type of person you are like, yeah. and then you're just trying to find that then yeah trying to get it back I think when you're in that dark place and it's well yeah and obviously you were in you know, in a you lot worse really place know. than I was yeah you don't really know how to get out of it no and, There's no answer, and I, like. there, there is no book on it. There's loads of people, and everyone's been through different stuff. Like I said, some days you just wake up. It's hard to even explain how you feel. Yeah. It's like your stomach feels funny. You get all this agitation. Yeah. You're feeling just feeling shitty. In society now, in the communities around us, what would you like to see? Maybe more of for people, you know, like these sort of youth clubs and stuff like that. Do you think there should be more stuff like that around for people? Yeah, I think even like things with local football, we got lots of youngsters and stuff, but it's different era, different mentality. Yeah. Like for me, when football wasn't on 20 years ago, it'd be devastating. My yeah, Saturday well, yeah. would be ruined. Yeah. But now it's totally different. The youngsters would rather be with their girlfriends or play their PlayStations, yeah. Xbox. Yeah. I think there needs to be more stuff like this. Maybe like, I don't know, youth clubs, maybe. But there needs to be more access, as in not just over the phone, but, you know, yeah. someone can go and it's talk to someone. To face, it? yeah. it's, it's a lot easier to do it this way yeah. as opposed to sitting on the phone talking to somebody. Don't yeah. know who they are or what they look yeah. like. It's a yeah, I agree. And I and it is tough because, obviously, you know, the initial steps, if someone, there's another five people in here now and they're all strangers, of course it's going to be tough. What do you prefer talking with somebody you, you knew, like us? Yeah. A friend or... Would you find it better with like a counsellor type thing? I don't know. Um, I think it works both ways, I think. Like someone told me to go speak to a counsellor and I thought if I go speak to a counsellor, I'm actually going insane. Yeah. In my head, that was me thinking if I talk to a counsellor, that means I'm going loopy. Yeah, something wrong. And, and no, in fairness, when I spoke to them once or twice, I did feel a lot better talking yeah, to a stranger yeah. because I think I talk to them more. Yeah. It seems crazy, isn't it? You yeah, think you talk know. more to your family it's or your partner, it's but it doesn't. I found it easier to talk to a stranger. And also, you find out there's so many people yeah, out yeah. there. It's massive, I think. Yeah, yeah. You know, stuff you're doing, it's not going to do any harm. If it helps 10 people, 5 yeah, people, uh, it's got to be a positive thing. Yeah, positive. And like you said, none of us are insane. Yeah. I've bottled things up probably all my life. But even my parents have always said it. My dad's always said to me, my sister's told the opposite. My sister will talk about everything. Yeah, yeah. Like, she's quite open. I think they will want to talk more. Yeah, I have to because... Yeah. If I let things build up, it's just not good for me. It's not yeah. good for me. Family People living with me, yeah. you know what I mean? I that's the same for everybody, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And it, like I said, blokes just don't like talking about things. It's simple as. Like I said the other day, example, you know, all these people on Facebook, it's just a lot of nonsense, yeah. let's be honest. Yeah. You got your circle of friends around you, but then even your close friends, you're not going to bother them all the time. Every, well, every other day you're going to yeah. say, oh, I feel like shit. Everyone's got stuff going on. Yeah. It's like everyone's got problems. It's how you deal yeah. with it and... It's not easy, but you just got to talk about it. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, and even little things, when people are feeling the lowest point, 
give me a ring or yeah. whatever. I, I would always hope, like, if my closest friends were feeling like that, that in worst-case scenario, they were really having, you know, crazy thoughts. You know, sometimes even if just go out for a walk or... Because in the day, you only hear once. Yeah. And like I said, there's so many people out there and you see it all the time. It's, it's a massive issue. But at least at least now it's spoken about, let's be honest, 10, 15, 20 years ago, no one knew yeah. what mental health yeah. was with nothing. Yeah. Yeah. So well, that's what said, some people still know, don't really believe in it. That no. They can't stop there to worry about no. it. No. Like the only way I'd say that until it happened, they're not going to understand. Yeah. Because I was probably of the same thought, yeah. if I'm honest. Oh, but it's smart with him. Yeah. Oh, you'd think like, yeah. yeah, he's going through so and so. I'd be all right. Yeah, give him a couple yeah, of days, snap out of it. Then on the other side, you then would feel like a burden, would it, on people if you? Yeah, like, yeah, I agree. That's the way I felt. Yeah, so I felt like I was burden on people, so I wouldn't put my problems on them. I... But I think you know, you got your missus and your family, your brother. Do you know I mean that's your outlet? And like self, I'm always on the end of the phone. End of the day, it's a phone call. And let's be honest, you probably find over the next few months, it's going to be loads of people. That's why we said, like, we put this together and if it helps one person. Exactly. Yeah. And we're just starting off, starting off small and see where Yeah, going. exactly. If, if people want to get involved, then the message, they want to be on it, they can, yeah. you know, they can come and have a chance. No, I agree. Yeah. But well, like when you two went to Northampton, didn't you? It's obviously people up there as well. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, brilliant what they set up. Because yeah. Gary's decided now to do a skydive. Right. For mental health. For mental health. For oh, fair play. Bruno Foundation. Well, I haven't got on my plane yet, but I'm... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, I got... Oh, years yeah. ago, I got a surprise present for my girlfriend. She always wanted to skydive. In fairness, she loved it. Yeah, uh, everyone's saying afterwards, you know... Oh, yeah, i seen a video. Was, I, I wouldn't even get on a little plane to take me out. <laughs> yeah. I don't mind flying, but I yeah. saw that little plane and I was no, like... I'm, I'm, uh, I saw the pictures on the yeah. walls when I went in I was like, oh, my God, I'm getting in that. Like, yeah. The thing is, I put everyone through, like, a, a lot of worry yeah. recently. And, like, I just think to myself... Now's the time to start, you know, try and look at the, the important things of, like, yeah. you know, looking after the family and, yeah. you know, the little girl. All the positive, up. Well, yeah, that's what I mean. For yourself, you just got to keep positive and every time you feel down, you just got to look at your little girl. Yeah. That's your drug, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. You've got to look at like that and positive and just got to talk about it. Do you know I mean? But I think with you as well, I think you find a lot when you write in your music and stuff. And I think once you feel like it's getting nice. back with the band and stuff, it'd be great. Yeah. I could be a tour manager then, and uh... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you, all you said that twenty years ago. I, I know, like I know. Yeah. I was waiting for, for you to go X Factor, and then I was gonna. <laughs> yeah, do you have any advice for somebody who is feeling lost or alone in the world now? I just think there's so much out there. I think you first port the call is contact the GP. They can refer you to a counselor. Try it out. Yeah. No one knows, no one judges you. There's a couple of numbers yeah. you can ring or even you can go on the NHS website. There's loads of places. Do you know what I mean? There's so much out there now. There's no need for anyone to do anything stupid or yeah, yeah. there's so much out there. Yeah. Don't give up. Like, no, you can't. Like... Just talk to your family, anyone. Yeah. Just open up. If you're feeling lowest at the low, even if you have a total breakdown, you're crying and it's nothing. No one's going to judge you. It's, it's normal. Don't think you're different to anyone because... You're not. It's always someone yeah, of course yeah. it is. But there's so much out there. And like I said, I listen to talk sport and they, they were doing stuff like this and you'd be surprised. Yeah. There's so much out there. Boxers, yeah. professionals. Take an example, you know, Tyson Fury and Ricky Hatton and all these guys. Yeah. You know, they made millions. But they went off the rails, yeah. you know. Yeah. It's not about money. It's nothing to do with anything. If, if your head's not in the right headspace, it doesn't matter. These are professionals and there's so many. You know, we've got these football players. There's plenty out there. It's a learning curve yeah. as well in life. Well, of course it is. As you get older, you look looking back and you're thinking, all those things we used to do when we was younger, and the family falls apart and the people die and that. Friends spread out different places. I think it just becomes life. You go through phases with friends, don't you? You have yeah. close friends 10, 15 years ago, and now you've got a different group of friends. Yeah. I think that's just life. The problem, I think, is everyone's got their own circle of problems issues and that's the thing it's like everyone's surrounded by their own thing and the sad thing is when it comes to it just going in their own bubbles it's like just worry about myself or but there's nothing that could be that bad that you can't talk about it it's just you telling yourself you yeah. Do it, it? yeah you know from my experience i think that's the best thing you do like yeah. you said 
sometimes you feel like shit yeah. or whatever. And sometimes, like, even if you talk about anything, football, anything, yeah. you forget and you, you, yeah. you get it out yeah. and you feel much better. Yeah. So, yeah, I, that's that's my advice now is there's so much out there. There's, there's no one that needs to feel alone or yeah. there's so many people out there who suffer. I think it's, it's just out, having... And come back. Yeah. And it's not embarrassing. It's just normal. I think you're more of a person by doing it. If you open up and you talk it about it, just of course it does. Yeah, yeah, of course it does. Yeah, People might think, oh, it's not easy for us, is it? Yeah. <laughs> it's a big step for us as well. Yeah. But it's just sometimes people need a little nudge yeah, or yeah. if you're thinking about stuff, it doesn't matter. You can think positively, but if you're overthinking, it's always in the back of your mind. You can't switch off. Yeah. That problem in your head is still going to be in two days. It's going to be after the weekend. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's, it's always be there. Yeah, yeah, you can't just your mind that's what I mean your mind is it's one of the worst weapons you can have yeah, yeah. <laughs> so stress is up but then if you get older like, it's not good for your health yeah. I think back to years ago no. if I felt down or sad whatever I would go to town I just like blow it away yeah, again yeah. like and I yeah, just, yeah. that would you be my... no, yeah. Yeah. I think that happens now mate yeah. I think yeah. just we're just old now yeah, yeah we're old now. Yeah. I think we can still do it now yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> we blow out about 8 o'clock and then I'm bedtime I do believe that that's why we started this is to try and help you know, as many people as you can isn't yeah. it? honestly it's helped me and it's a good thing and I hope it kicks on you'll have to come back on yeah definitely yeah we're asking each guest if there's any of their favourite songs that they go to or if you're feeling down you just think oh I'll stick that on that and absolutely well with me obviously I've always been dance music so yeah. any songs you can remember from when he was young oh god yeah Free, Free from, from Desire Gala Tiesto Adiagio yeah, Strings yeah, been a long time. Remember that song? Great That's song. one of my favorite songs. Been a long time. Brilliant. So yeah, a couple of them. But yeah, I listen to like little podcasts and stuff like that. But Ego, thank you. So yeah, much. It's oh, no brilliant. problem. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate really you coming appreciate on. Your time, yeah, and you too, guys. It's good to see you again. Yeah, and you guys. Thank you very nice much. One. Nice, nice one, guys. Take it easy.